an authoritative voice silenced one of Iraq's brightest gone. This coffin bears the body of Dr. Husham al-Hashemi, a prominent analyst and researcher shot on Monday night by unknown gunmen. A small group of family, friends and journalists gathered to accompany his body on its last journey from the morgue to his family home. It was here in front of his own house where four gunmen on motorbikes waited for him on Monday night. He was shot several times at close range. His family blames the government for not protecting him. Who if not the government carries the responsibility? It's the government that should provide the safety and security for the people. Prime Minister Mustafa al kadhimi dismissed a senior security commander responsible for the area and is vowing to bring those responsible to justice. All the possibilities are open. We'll wait for the results of our investigation through the responsible officers to find out who carried out the operation. Husham al-Hashemi was regularly interviewed by Iraqi and foreign journalists, including Al Jazeera, and was a trusted advisor to Iraq's governments. He also worked for Western think tanks, most recently the Center for Global Policy, based in Washington, D.C. He first gained prominence for his expertise on al-Qaeda and ISIL, but more recently turned his attention to Shia armed groups, including those with links to Iran. This was his last interview on the latest rocket attacks in Baghdad, aired just an hour before his killing. In fact, this series of events that all started after June 26 are a reaction from these rebel groups that challenge the rule of law and the power of the Iraqi security forces. Several of his friends say he considered moving to northern Iraq after receiving numerous threats, including from the armed group Kataib Hezbollah, but he believed that the government would protect him. During our meetings with the Prime Minister, we demanded to at least offer protection for the free voices, but the result is we didn't get any protection, and maybe we will all follow in Husham's steps. That's what they want for Iraq. They want an Iraq without a state. We are a country without a state, and this is the victim. Al-Hashemi was laid to rest in the holy city of Najaf in southern Iraq, he leaves behind his wife, four children, and the country shocked by yet another senseless murder. Simona Fultin, Al Jazeera, Baghdad.